Welcome to VTT Studio. Today, we're speaking with research professor Kaisa Poutonen of the VTT Technical Research Center of Finland about the revolution in our food supply chain, what's changing and how food is produced and delivered to the consumer. Great to have you with us here in the studio, Kaisa. Why do you speak about a revolution? There's the world population is bursting. About every second we are, somebody new person is born. And um, we have billions of people who would like to eat the same way we are eating. The planet just cannot take it in the way we are eating now. Uh, and the other reason is we are living in a very digital world now. And we are doing lots of food choices, about 200 choices every day. When we go to a hypermarket, we have 40,000 items on the shelves and we are, we, everybody would like to have the food they way they like. And we have to rethink how we do it. What will change? Can you give a couple of examples? Yes, I think when we think of future, we also have to look at the past. I just saw a menu uh, from a weekly menu from the times I was a schoolgirl in the 60s. And the, in the weekly menu, there was only meat once a week, much more whole grain. And I think that's more sensible diet. And also in the future, we need to go that way. Even though we will have new ingredients and new way of um, new food concepts, they are developing anyway. Uh, also, the way food is delivered, I think that will change dramatically. We already see um, automates, we see robots coming to the supermarket even perhaps, on the street, at home might be. Uh, we would like the food the way um, we just now want to have it, we can choose ourselves. And um, drones perhaps will be bringing food uh, when we order it in the evening, when we are hungry. Uh, we are having a non-stop life these days, so I think that we need food and we want to have food our way, our time, always. What's VTT working on to make a change? We are doing quite a lot. In the new product development, we are first of all concentrating on the efficient use of raw materials. We would like to valorize side streams, we fractionate them, make new ingredients out of them, also functionalize the, the new fractions um, for better use in new kinds of foods. We also um, are thinking of an insect economy. We think that insects uh, could provide uh, many interesting ingredients with functionalities also providing energy in the future. We have the concept of food without fields and with that we mean biotechnical food production. We are using microorganisms or plant cell cultures to produce um, food in bioreactors, both energy uh, type food like protein or, or functional ingredients. Thank you, Kaisa. We look forward to seeing how the food chain will develop in the future.